welcome back to Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. Today I am making an extra kiwi soap with thermal Rotorua mud that comes bubbling up in the springs in Rotorua. That's right. And I'm also going to be using activated charcoal, super cleansing and detoxifying. So come on with me and I'll show you how we make it. Squee! So first things first, we need to make sure that our oil and our lye is at the right temperature and it looks good so now we're going to add our lye to our cooled oils and blend to a light emulsification or thin trace and I've got some kale and clay and some other goodies in the oils which is why they're opaque this is a little mixture of the thermal mud and the activated charcoal and some fruit powders and a bunch of gorgeous skin loving ingredients. So these soaps are going to be particularly good if you have a lot of irritated skin or itchy skin or you know body acne, sad to say it, oh, but we all go through this in our life. So this soap is really going to help that. Now I'm adding some essential oil but I'm not really adding essential oil to scent the soap, I'm adding it for its skin loving properties. I'm using essential oils of frankincense and cassia and those are the same essential oils that I have mixed into my gorgeous black cup of goodness. So now I'm portioning off a little bit of soap for it to be a white accent colour in the bars so they're not just sort of plain black and I'm mixing together my beautiful Rotorua Thermal Mud Activated Charcoal Fruit Powders Colloidal Oatmeal all sorts of gorgeous skin loving things in there to name a few and look at that beautiful black color this is by far the blackest soap i have ever ever made honestly usually when i color my soap black it comes out gray this one is not gray this is black <laughs> so it will definitely produce a slightly gray leather but it will be so good and detoxifying on your skin and oh so yummy and delicious I have a bar of it in my shower right now along with many other bars of delicious handmade soap <laughs> so I'm plopping it all in my two molds oops I had a bit of a mess so we'll clean that up tippy tap tap to make sure the air bubbles come up to the surface and it's time to add the white soap as our beautiful accent color so because everything is kind of thick from me mixing it's sitting on the top I'm going through with my hanger swirl tool and I'm pushing it in and down and covering it up with the black soap. <laughs> Hopefully I will get a pretty little swirl in the middle of the black soap so we shall see when we cut it later on. Now I'm just going to scrape the jugs so make sure that I get every last little bit of soap that is still in the jug out and don't waste anything. Luxurious ingredients like cocoa butter, shea butter, mmm. Star soaps, baby. Star soaps will make you feel good. If you want to pamper your skin in, star soaps will be in. Warming you, ma making you feel new again. Star soaps will bring you to life, to life. So now I've gone ahead with the last of the white soap and the last of the black soap and dolloped it up on the top like I do and now it's time for our beautiful swirly swirl. Because the soap is thick it's not going to work quite how I planned so I'm just going to get all crazy and creative and do whatever comes to mind as I'm swirling. In this case I've just kind of gone back and forth and then up and down and I think it looks really pretty. So in the second loaf I'm doing the exact same thing but with wider strokes and you can kind of see how it's going right out to the edges of the mould a bit more and then once I'm finished at the end I'll just come back through in the middle once and I'm done. Groovy. So I made some cool little toppers that were inspired by a polymer clay tutorial where the lady had taken different 
clay colours, rolled them all up into a big log to make an orange, and then sliced them. I tried to do a peace sign, and you can see those going on now. It didn't work as well as I hoped, but I'm still pretty chuffed with my outcome. And then just some cute little round balls that I made left over. And the little spirals that you can see, if you would like to learn how to make them, I will leave a link below to my hand moulded soap video tutorial where I teach you how to smoosh your soap ends together and make groovy toppers. <laughs> so now it's time to cut these gorgeous loafs of soap on my awesome new multibar cutter. Thank you, Big B. Absolutely love this thing. I power through the cutting and I feel like a little production line. It is so cool. with luxurious ingredients like cocoa butter, shea butter, mmm, star soaps baby, star soaps will make you feel good, if you want to pamper your skin, in star soaps will be in, warming you, ma making you feel new again, star soaps will bring you to life, to life, to life. star soaps, you know you love it, when your skin feels pampered with luxurious ingredients like cocoa butter. Alrighty, well I didn't get as many pretty swirls in that first loaf as I hoped, so let's see what this loaf has to offer. <laughs> Nothing in the first bar. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Quite thin swirly lines. Oh, and the top is gorgeous. Ooh, that one looks like a fairy with a little fairy wing and oh, oh I'm very chuffed with that. <laughs> So it just goes to show, you never know what you're going to get. Oh, that one's interesting as well. Cool. I love hanger swirls. Oh, nothing on that bar. <laughs> so not only is this awesome and loving on your skin, it is also a beautiful soap. Yay. So here we have the final bars. And I think they turned out really, really cool. Some of them have really amazing swirls in them, like this one in the front, and others not so much, like that one on the side. <laughs> but, like I said earlier, this soap is really going to love your skin. And if you feel like you need something that's going to nourish and also going to cleanse and dry out any skin issues you might have, please feel free to contact me on starsoaps at gmail.com and we'll make a soap deal. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed watching me make this soap. And if you did, feel free to hang around and hit that subscribe button down below. Become a member of the Star Soaps family and feel the soapy love. <laughs> so here are some pickies of my swirls. I especially like that fairy looking one. And this week I'd like to highlight Annie Louise Robinson and her beautiful cold process soap that she made and also her amazing little soapy embeds that she made. How gorgeous are those little cameos? Well done, Annie. If you'd like your photo highlighted, please come over to the Star Soaps group on Facebook and share your picture. The link's in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Feel pampered with luxurious ingredients like cocoa butter, shea butter, mmm.